I once did undercover research for a major pet store chain, and as I was wandering the aisles and asking questions, I started to realize that every employee seemed to be working in the department that best matched with their interest and expertise. One employee I met told me that she loved and owned various types of reptiles. And so guess what? She worked with the reptiles, snakes, and amphibians. Another told me that his hobby was tropical fish, and he had been placed in the aquarium section. And the dog lover I met worked in the section with the chew toys and the leashes. Because of these placements, the animals were getting greater care, and the customers were getting good, relevant information about what was best for their pets. And I know this sounds like common sense. Of course, right? You would put someone who knows the most about snakes in charge of the snakes. But for some reason, this simplicity often gets blurred out in the rush to staff workplaces and fill shifts. Sometimes maybe you're scrambling to replace a loss or you need to balance the schedule and you end up putting your people where a warm body is needed right now. And well then, what do you do? You just keep them there because that's where you've always gotten used to having them. But it's time for you to take a second look at who your people are and where you've got them. Because developing a great team is about putting each person in the place where they'll shine, where their strengths are, and where their passions can be best used to serve the mission of the company.